This was a video to see if it's possible to actually make a lock pick from a hacksaw blade without any grinding or filing. All I did to make this lock pick, basic diamond, half diamond, was sand the original paint off the hacksaw blade, spray it with basic black enamel spray paint so that it looked like this. Then I etched in a, a very simple design in the blade. Here's the original piece that I cut from the hacksaw blade. And I just scratched the bare metal. Now on the internet they used salt water and a D-cell battery. Well, I was in a little bit of a hurry so I decided to use a power supply this is a basic adapter it's 12 volts 100 milliamps and here was some of the early experiments this was supposed to be a snake rake but I left it in a little too long and I didn't prep it right so it kinda ate the end of the snake rake off and I left the original paint on which was a mistake. I did try basic etching. I just scratched that in and etched that in about 10 minutes. Um, this one was cut using the little power supply. Unfortunately it didn't turn out too bad but it ate the end of the pick off. And I also noticed when it etches, it takes a little bit too much material. You have to etch it a little bit bigger than you actually want the pick to turn out. But this pick is very usable without any further sanding or grinding. I mean, I would finish it, but it could be used as it is. And here's my impatient power supply. This is 13 volts at about 6 amps max. I have the negative terminals, the terminal used. Just any kind of metal. The positive is the one you want to cut. Now right now this is plain water with the power supply hooked up and nothing's happening because I've not added salt. Add a little bit of salt. If you look carefully, the bubbles start to form on the negative terminal. That's where you want the bubbles. If the bubbles, if you have a lot of bubbles forming on the positive, on what you're trying to cut, you've got the leads reversed and you need to change polarity. Now the more current you use, the faster it will cut. The more salt you add, the more conductive it gets and the faster it'll cut. So let's amp it up. Now those bubbles you see, that's hydrogen and oxygen, so you don't want those two pieces of metal to touch, and you don't want any sparks, not that it could explode, but... Now this, uh, right now I'm running about 3 amps through this, 
it will basically cut through the metal in all 10 to 20 minutes. And here's what it looks like after. After one or two cuts. And that's Salt water lock picking, make, lock pick making out of it.